All right, you guys, welcome back to the show. Today is gonna be insane. I don't even think I'm ready for it. Uh, today, here in front of me, we have a Lotus 7, okay? This is a custom kit car, as you may notice. It's completely open wheel. It's got a full cage, uh, and we're gonna go through everything under the hood. Well, scratch that, there is no hood. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Hopefully, I don't die, so let's get behind the wheel and go for a drive. Real quick, before we jump in this thing, you guys, I'd like to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video and giving one of you the chance to win a one of 10 Roush supercharged Ford Mustang RTR drift cars and VIP access to literally any 2022 Formula Drift event on next year's calendar, so that's kind of crazy. Every entry helps support a nonprofit organization called Folds of Honor, okay? Folds of Honor provides educational scholarships to the spouses and children of America's fallen and disabled service members. These scholarships support private education tuition, homeschooling, and tutoring. And over 29,000 of these scholarships have already been awarded so far. So for your chance to win, again, that insane Ford Mustang RTR drift car and the Formula Drift experience of a lifetime while supporting a great cause, hit the link in the description, omaze.com slash untraveled. That's omaze.com slash untraveled. All right, this is gonna be nuts. First off, the wind is gonna be insane and there's gonna be rocks flying up and stuff. So, here we are in a Lotus 7 with a 1.8 liter inline four under the hood, forged pistons, built motor. Oh yeah. Oh my God, okay. Sunglasses not working. So as with any open wheel car, uh, it's not traditionally an experience that you would have on the street. Open wheel cars are traditionally all the experiences that you have on the track. But if you guys remember uh, from a couple years ago, we drove the AMT3 trike. Uh, and that was a three-wheeled open wheel car that was barely legal enough to be on the roads. Uh, and same with this. This is basically a Lotus 7 or a Lotus Super 7 front engine, turbocharged, rear wheel drive, way too much power. Wow! <laughs> oh wow. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Okay, this is what we're talking about now. Wow. This is a straight up death trap. I have never been so frightened in my life in something with four wheels. Straight up. So first off, uh, 20 pounds of boost at, is insane, but the response, because it is such a light chassis, such a light engine we have here, such a light vehicle, uh, 250 wheel horsepower is ridiculous. It feels like I've gone maybe 50% throttle, uh, and it already feels like well over three, 400 horsepower in like any other normal car, okay? And I'm having to slow down just so I can hear myself think and hear myself talk, so I can talk to you guys. But we've got this rad digital display here. You do not have time to look at this. It is, it's a feel first and you just do. There is no thinking involved here, okay? Um, OMP wheel is nice. It's got a really quick ratio steering rack. Uh, and 
Josh was kind of messing with the alignment on the way to the shoot today and this morning. Uh, so basically, he was adjusting the toe and the camber and stuff because a couple of days ago, I mean, literally, I can I can touch the pavement. <laughs> um, so he was trying to make it drive like a little bit less of a drift car, right? But even still here, if you guys saw back there, the turn in is so sharp. It is so insanely sharp, but the rear end just cuts around so quick that like, if you're not quick enough to dial in that just a little ounce of counter steer, you're all the way around, you're in a ditch, but <laughs> the blow off, the blow off is literally deafening. The bl like this is frightening shit, you guys. Oh yeah, whoa. Okay, okay. Josh wears a helmet now. Yeah, alignment looks pretty good now. Look, it looks like it's it's uh, it was super towed out, and I it still looks kind of towed out. Yeah, I, I I put it in two inches. It was two oh, inches out. Holy crap. I was like, how do we drive this thing? So I brought it back and it, it it's a lot safer feeling. This is, this is not safe. Okay, so what's going on, Josh? Oh, not much. Just trying to live with we, this car. We have been talking about getting this car on the show for a long time. You keep sending me videos. Josh keeps sending me videos of this. The, this is the most insane car we've had on the channel this year. Oh, yeah. uh, I would say so. So like, Give give me like the rundown of like how you came across this car uh, and how this kind of came to be. Okay, well, my friend Jerry, he loves building crazy stuff and as you can tell, this is one of his little projects he bought. He bought this um, on Vancouver Island and some guy started building it. His wife wouldn't let him finish it, so he took it and then we drove it around, kind of got it finished up, took a corner one day, crashed it found out that wasn't a very uh, good setup he had on the front end, so we rebuilt the whole front end. Everything on it has this really cool air to water intercooler thing, so I don't think there's much air involved, but <laughs> it's got a nice turbo that makes some good noises, a nice gritty. You said it's a 3T, correct? Uh, 3TC out of an 82 Corolla. Okay, yeah, so that, that engine was also in, in the older generation Mark II as well, and then, yeah, the Corolla, and I believe uh, a few Celicas too of yes. that kind of era. True. So, but this is what's weird because you look at the top of this and I'm seeing a, a modern looking engine in the top. Yeah. So basically it's- Yeah, the block itself is a 3TC. Mm -hmm. The head is a fully rebuilt 3TC head, but okay. obviously been changed over to uh, ignition coils rather than just a distributor. And also just, I don't know, there's not much else to say other than it's really <laughs> crazy and it's got a lot of really forged parts in that motor and it's got a super rear diff out of a and a toyota truck axle okay dealio or yeah it definitely like looks like a truck axle back yeah there. it's a it's a truck <laughs> it's a truck in the back and it's got some crazy will woods up front that yep. stop you but in a kind of a scary way because there's no weight on the front mm -hmm. and uh electric water pump which is kind of cool not much to really go over other than the fact that it's really scary so <laughs> really scary we're only on wastegate because if we go any higher you might die. Yeah, basically that. Okay. Um, it's at, at about 20 PSI right now. Uh, it's <laughs> 250 wheel horsepower and 250 wheel torque. So it's a mini Corvette. Oh, wow. It's uh, got half the tire as a Corvette. Oh boy. How, and, much do, how much do you think this, it definitely weighs under 2,000 pounds. Yes. What do you think? It's like 16, 1700? I, I think, yeah, about 16 or less. Somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah, 16 or less for sure. So Josh, I had an MR2 Turbo and I had that tuned up before I sold it. It was at 286 wheel horsepower mm -hmm. and 2,800 pounds. And I never really wanted more power. It yeah. was like, oh, this is fine. Yeah. 
But the, th the thing that you guys need to know is like in, in a heavy car, like I'm sure you've driven like Mustangs or like Camaros, yeah. American stuff. When you have like 400, 500 pound feet, and then you jump up to like 700, it's like, it's a, a difference, yeah. but it's the weight. Yeah, it's, it's the stable. Weight. Yes, it's exactly. stable. Yeah. This isn't stable no. at all. <laughs> you hit 120 kilometers an hour, and that's like the speed limit on the highway here, and uh, you're all over the road, all the way up to 180 kilometers an hour, and then the gearing maxes out. We do take it to the track. We're gonna hopefully not crash since we got brand new suspension. The QA1 suspension on this is a savior compared to what these things come with. Mm -hmm. It's horrible eBay stuff these things come with and oh, okay. these QA1s are just it's a godsend. It feels so much better on the road. Have you ever burnt yourself on this? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, I have a couple holes in my pants. Yeah. Yeah. What's a good car if it doesn't fight back, right? Yeah, <laughs> this one definitely does. <laughs> You put a nice carbon fiber little dash in there, put the OMP wheel on. Mm -hmm. And this car is actually based off of like an 82 to 86 Toyota Corolla with the steering rack from the Corolla and the, uh, I don't know, the steering column as well. Oh yeah, also has a Link G4 ECU. Oh, okay. So that's good. You just hope the passenger's watching your AFRs for you. That's pretty <laughs> much it. And the volts, cause uh, alternator doesn't quite charge at this rate. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, what do you say? We're, let's let's go for a drive. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know the the Lotus Super Seven or the Lotus Seven originally. Uh, came out in 1957 and Lotus built that for about 20 years and then they eventually sold the right sometime in the mid 70s uh, to Caterham. So that's why there's, there's all the Caterhams that you see. And this is what driving is all about. This is what has been lost in so many modern cars, almost all modern sports cars. And cars like the MX-5 um, and a few other front engine, rear drive manual cars have tried to replicate this. We've tried to keep this alive, but there is really nothing like a one of one kit car. Like there's freaking rocks coming in. I'm two, one of two things are gonna happen. I'm either gonna go blind from the rocks hitting my eyes, or I'm gonna spin out and end up in a ditch or something. It also has no side view mirrors and a five point harness. Honestly, at idle though, it's pretty quiet. Uh, Josh is having some battery issues today. So I'm basically having just to keep an eye on the, uh, on the voltage. No power steering, obviously, no anti-lock brakes. I mean, it's a death trap. It is all driver involvement. <laughs> Yo, Josh! <laughs> okay, so the battery just died. Literally, as you guys saw, I'm trying to coast back. 
to the parking lot where we're parked at. Hopefully, Josh and Grayson see me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching this miraculous review. Um, I survived. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> It literally died like right over the train track, right? I'm transforming now these cars and planes I'm always boarding Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets When I'm performing never boring now you can't afford it Champagne Perrier Finish friends on my face Yep, holy oh, shit This bitch has a Emmy! Yeah, I've seen him in 4 AG before So that makes sense what? So what do you think? Is this a surprise or what? No, this is good. Yeah, it's really That's good. That's what I thought. Wait, small. I saw the. I saw you post a video of it yesterday. Like yeah, all clip, I see right like... now we have the alternator issue. Oh. That's why we use the jumping people right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's sick. I like that workaround. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. What alternator is it? Ah, uh, 3 PC one. Still a 3 PC? Yeah. Get up, I don't think I have one here. I got some 4 eight. Okay, this is so stupid. I love this. This is the one. Like, what the hell? This is the best Lada ever marketed. Yo, this thing is what? like. I said this is the best Lada ever marketed. <laughs> this thing's the best thing I've ever seen. He's the Tarzan. Pride, like, joy, Russia. It's like, actually. Really... <laughs> yeah, that's a factory car right there. It's so dumb, but I, I know. know. It's the best. It is, right? It's the best dumb you can get. Like, We're back here at Josh's Burnyard uh, at Supermodel. As you can see, we have some new changes. We got some banners going up here. And uh, yeah, look out for some cool stuff coming from Supermodel. There's gonna be a lot more drifting going on here. But we did bring the Super 7, the low cost Super 7 here. We're gonna try to do some donuts. The lineman's pretty sketchy. And I just found out yesterday, during that entire in-car, uh, different day today, by the way, I was at half boost. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna try and get it on the road again for like another quick run where it's at full holy shit mode. Yeah, it's not much of a drift car, but I think we'll be able to do some pretty good donuts today. But over here we have a Lada. It's pretty dope. <laughs> it's I mean it's a fucking it's a rust. It's a bit of a rust bucket, but Alright, let's do it. It was just like streaming out. You guys want to have it? I take it for a while. Uh, I was thinking no. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was ready for flames there. I, I told Logan to grab the extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever driven one of these before? Well, every day. Uh, I'm getting old. No seatbelts required. <laughs> they restrict my movement.
wily, man. Oh, damn. Yeah, it wants to do everything at once. Yeah, it's only one turn to lock. It's, really it's like driving a go-kart. Like the same thing. You really got a rang on him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right in the floor. I'm so used to driving my van. That thing's a beast, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Probably got like 30 inch rotors on her. <laughs> Just gonna let it come down a little bit. Yeah. I feel like it'd be really fun to kind of like do sort of more of like an orientation, like an oriented course. Like this thing's really small and you kind of have to freestyle it. Right. I think with barriers and limits, it'd be like, it, it would have, you'd, make, you'd have to tame it. You know, you wouldn't just be going for everything that it can do. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was tough enough to keep it under control, like, driving on the street, oh. like looking for grip, you know, <laughs> let alone looking to slide it. How fast it go? Uh, that's a good question. I maybe got it up to 130, 140. Miles? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. but like, although, yeah. it felt like a lot faster, but I wasn't looking at the speedo. Yeah, yeah, That's it. Yep, that's it. Yep. Wow, me. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's nice and cold, too. Steering wheel? Yeah, no, I just put this on here. Oh, nice. And then we put in the Digi Dash, which is pretty cool. I have to change the speed sensor on it. Who still. makes that? Uh, Who makes that's a sensor? NX1600. That's weird. Remote switching system. Yeah, I gotta unplug it. I guess it fucking unplugged behind here. Oh, is that for like but boost maps? Just or change what? your tune. Yeah, you can go from a low tune to a high tune. So it basically oh. just got uh, your high tune is at 15%. Except for if I fucking run that fat tune for longer than like 10 seconds, it's gonna blow. It just blows up. But yeah, yeah I got this huge boost gauge. Yeah, I just painted it. It was the same one that was there. How long until that rips off? I, dude, I was I was running over the barriers, and they're like pretty much like this high. So I'd, yeah. I'd fucking hammer the throttle to fucking jump the nose over them, yeah. and it'd clear them good. And like I was driving with the rowdy kids, and they drive like right over the barriers. So yeah. it's like they think it's a DTM race with the E30s and the 190s. They just like fucking rumble strip drift jump. Cool. But yes. Like, in a molded wide body car, this thing's like ready to explode. If looking at it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not the thing to do it with. So. But we do have a car up here. It's definitely getting paint. Josh has been painting a lot of things recently. Parts everywhere. Projects on the go. Oh my god. Grayson, is that not a nostalgic trip right there? Slash that? Yeah. Uh, yep. I vomited my guts out uh, on my way back from water polo practice after having one of those for the first time. <laughs> Actually? Oh, all over my parents' car. They were so pissed. I was like 12 o'clock at night. They made me clean it up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that shit'll stain. you guys for your chance to win that Roush supercharged Ford Mustang RTR drift car and the formula drift experience of a lifetime while supporting Folds of Honor, a great cause. Hit the link in the description, omaze.com slash untraveled. Again, that's omaze.com slash untraveled.